I wasn't counting on March 2023 becoming a very competitive uh, month for horror and thriller fair, and yet apparently it is. Unbeknownst to me, because I did not realize that Scream 6 was debuting on the same day as Fresh Entry 65, and although some people would, I'm sure, say, well, 65 is it's a Sony movie, relatively new, it's a fresh brand, if you're familiar with that picture, you know that Sam Raimi's in the production credits. So you've got two uh, directors and writers, in uh, this case, serving both roles, who have done an extensive body of work in the horror and thriller market. You have Adam Driver as a headliner. You also have a dinosaur-focused sci-fi space set movie. I could see a lot of advantage for that movie. Again, even though it's a fresh brand and a fresh film entry, there's a lot of credits to boast its, perhaps, uh, eventual success at least as far as I'm gauging. I just looked at the trailer and it looked quite competent. But Scream 6 is banking on nostalgia and being a years-long horror mainstay or horror thriller. All films of which, in my opinion, I recently got caught up on. Uh, it's a, probably two, three months ago. I've been trying to get around to watching more legacy-era um, projects from you know, years past. And Scream was a franchise I'd never introduced myself to, but I was on Paramount+. Plus. I'm like, okay, they're carrying all the films. Why don't I just start now? And I made it through uh, all five at this point, because we're on Scream 6 now. Yeah, I got caught up on every entry. And it's a fun franchise, in my opinion. Quite adventurous films. I've liked each uh, entry. The newest one, uh, as a brand revitalization, I found pretty well done, uh, in my opinion. I thought it was quite competently filmed, shot, the mystery was good, the the actual scares and deaths, I thought, were pretty well materialized. The ending, I'm still trying to kind of roll my head around. I mean, it was an interesting idea to go down the fandom commentary route. But, I mean, they're complex thrillers, and sometimes they can evoke a conversation. Again, my favorite entries being the first three, I think, in my opinion. Although I thought Scream 4 was good, and Scream 5 was, with some perhaps minor grievances from time, I didn't think it was a perfect movie, but it was interesting. You know, I thought it was a competent revitalization of the brand, as I said. It's going to be funny to watch these two films compete on the same day of release. They both come out March 10th. So which one will fare better? Again, with how many credits to speak to its identity, even though, again, it's fresh on the scene, 65, versus legacy-era Scream, another Scream entry, with Kirby returning, as I understand. I'm, I thought, I forget the name of the actress, but she did a good job in the fourth movie, but I, I don't necessarily have... I, I've heard that Kirby has quite a fan base. So there's probably a lot of momentum behind her character returning. I'm sure a lot of attention. Although Nev Campbell's not back as well uh, for this entry. So we'll see how Scream 6 fares. In my, I, I mean, I could go either way in terms of which film I see being uh, the successful leader. I honestly don't know. But Scream 5 did pretty well from my understanding. Let's see how Scream 6 materializes. But I'm interested now to say that, you know, being a, a Scream novice fan, I'm still in my early days of its... Uh, uh, entry into my life, I enjoyed these movies. You know, I'm a thriller guy. I'm less, I have a lot more conditions within the horror genre. I'm much more disposed to loving thriller films as a preference of choice. And Scream, I thought, was good in that respect. Let's go ahead and take a look at the sixth trailer and see what, or a sixth trailer, for, teaser trailer for the sixth movie and see what credits it has to boast and if it seems stronger than 65. Again, I'm really interested to see this competition materialize. Not at all what I was expecting. Did the last one come out in the spring season? Again, I still feel like some of these could be summer fair. That's sort of in the winter-spring overlap. And winters have plenty of horror movies, so... Well, we'll see. Oh, Ghostface can fit right... Perfect, yeah, he can fit right in, can't he? There's multiple of them! Guys? It could be anyone. <laughs> I mean, I do quite like the ghost face mask, in my opinion. It's a hallmark of a scream of these, obviously, and the Halloween season. That's definitely an early days tease. That's like just one scene clipped from the movie. Um, I'm tempted to say that at least on an initial look, 65 is boasting more of an advantage. Um, this is... 
I would expect another trailer prior to Super Bowl season. That's why I said for 65 as well, given the time frame. I think it'd be a great fit. This is a very... Uh, well, the scare in itself is effective. But it's a really short teaser. only a, a little over a minute, like just about five seconds worth. I believe this one's also set in the New York uh, area. I forget where the other films were set in location. So this is a bit of a divergence from, again, what's established thus far with the Scream brand. But it's boasting the credits of previous Scream pictures. The ghost face mask, obviously, you know, the big Herald. And I think, again, the, the alias looks great. It's effectively paced in terms of scares. The lighting effects are pretty good. It seems intimidating, scary, but it's still a really, really slim look. I need to see more to best judge this film's success as an individual entry, but on a first impression, 65 looks stronger. If Scream were not a part of a larger franchise, I would say on an initial look, and this isn't trying to be too overly critical, because I understand, again, based on the, well, really the last entry, this film could do quite well. But if this film were an initial, you know, one-off release and were an establishing brand like 65 is, I would say I would need to see more. This is a very slim look at the movie. I can't judge its entirety. It's a good scare. It's a good scene. But, I mean, it is kind of typical down the screen route. I mean, again, it's, it's filmed well. But I do think 65 at a first impression looks stronger. We'll see in time, of course. This is the teaser trailer. This is just the initial look. And I'm sure Scream is you know, more than ready to boast its own credits as a project. I'm really interested, though, to see again which film takes off. If it's going to be Scream or 65, these films are, are, are they're battling it out in the March month. I really didn't ex anticipate another film coming out to compete like that, but we'll see which one fares well. I mean, again, there's so many advantage points to 65, and I could see it going either way. I honestly don't know which film's going to do the better job. I, I'm tempted to, to say Scream based on brand appeal and perhaps Kirby. I mean, Kirby wasn't even in this trailer, was she? No, again, like early days. Um, we'll see. I'm tempted to say Scream because of the brand affiliation and the franchise presence. But I do think 65 was impressive on a first look a little more so than scream six because that was a full length trailer this is the teaser we'll see in time i'll keep an open door because again i like the scream movies let's see what six has to offer though but i think the future is going to better speak to its merits one of your guys' thoughts of scream six i'm sure many of you are just elated to have the film you know being advertised every way be like okay it's coming out soon i just would prefer to see a little more in my opinion, nothing too spoilery, but just a little more to go on to best gauge it as an as an original film and to compare it to 65. Again, that competition is pretty interesting. I could see it perhaps going either way. I'm tempted, though, to say Scream will do well because of the brand appeal. Let's see what it looks like in time. I'm assuming, again, based on the time frame... I would easily see a Scream trailer fitting in well with the Super Bowl season, especially to compete with 65. I could, I, thinking that's when Sony will release another one for that movie. I'm pretty sure. Don't quote me on it, but I'm pretty sure. Time will tell with Scream 6. I do think it'll probably fare well, but I do need to see a little more of it to best gauge it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.